Hey everyone, Tim here again, timscomputerfix.net. Today I'm working on a Asus Tough X299 Mark I motherboard. I've got the an i9 chip in here that supports all eight lanes of memory, DDR4. And what I want to talk about in this video right now is this, uh, the, uh, Vengeance Airflow. This is by Corsair. It's LPX. This is the 8 gig, 8 times 16 gig, 128 gig altogether DDR4 memory, 3800 megahertz variety. Very good memory here. But uh, you know, the one thing that I want to kind of touch on here, and I've already got the memory installed here, obviously. Um, this memory, and I'm going to set this set this aside here. This memory comes with these air coolers. Now, if you saw my unboxing live video, if you have it, go back and check it out. It shows you everything that I've unboxed for this build. Um, I was making comments on how low profile these memory modules are and Corsair did that uh, purposely so they can be used in uh, really small areas. They then turn around though and they package two of these fans, big honking fans that I guess would, would be beneficial I guess for you to use along with these RAM sticks. Uh, there's nothing really in the package or in the advertisement that states that there would be a problem or whatever if you don't use these or there's overheating problems with these memories. They just happen to include them. And uh, there have been previous, you know, RAM, previous RAM kits in the past that have had these nifty little cooling fans for the memory kits that they supply. But uh, I want to touch on these and let's look at how they want you to install these. So basically what you'll get is you'll get some brackets like this. You'll get, you'll get, you'll get three of them that get mounted on the bottom of the fan itself. And they also give you this nifty little uh, face plate that that can be changed here to kind of change the color, whatever one you want, red, blue, silver. Uh, and there's also a three pin fan header and they also give you a cable adapter. Uh, so you have another different way of hooking these up to your board or power supply. Um, and you know, that's all fine and dandy. Uh, you got to remember here on this board, like I say, this is the Tough X99 Mark I, so I'm only talking about for this specific board and for this specific use case. There are some chips that go on this board of, of, a, of a previous generation that only support one four channel you know, lane. Uh, this chip supports both, so therefore they give me two of these guys to install on here. But I kind of want to give you a little bit um, of an overview of what I'm running into with this. So with this particular uh, board here uh, and this chip, we are going to be using a heat sink. And we're not going to be using water. So we're going to be using this guy right here. So this is the Noctua NHD15 cooling fan for the 2066 chip. It's a large heatsink fan that is going to be positioned and granted I haven't taken out the off the, the cardboard yet but it's going to be positioned something like this here uh, on top of this chip and you can see there that there's really not a lot of uh, wiggle room or even height room here between the ram and the bottom of this heat sink. But I'm thinking, well, you know, there is some room. If this doesn't stand, you can see how that's kind of 
I don't know. So let's investigate this a little bit more. So in order to uh, assemble these, you turn them over. There's sliding grommets here that we can screw the, these, uh, these legs into. And they give you two different variety of legs. You'll have to kind of read up in these instructions here on what they recommend for what motherboard. Needless to say, it all works out about the same. So we're going to screw these down into here. Notice on this how these slide back and forth, right? Kind of slide back and forth there. Um, and the idea of that is, is, you know, once you get these attached to your RAM, that allows you to be able to kind of move, move the fan further away or further back and forth like this. And, and I'm assuming that that is there because of maybe a heat sink that you might want to use and they allow for a little bit more room. So I was thinking, well, great, you know, at least I can slide this thing to where it's all the way over this way, or let's just say that way. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and tighten these up where it's fully extended away from the chip, from the uh, socket, the processor. Okay, we'll pop this on here uh, just like they recommend. And uh, let's see, yep. So we're going to go like this. There's just lock in behind the arms of the clip arms of the RAM sockets. And this just kind of bends out and goes over the RAM just like that. Okay. And that is about all you're going to get this way away from that socket. And if you look here with this heat sink, it's got to go on here. I'm just going to hover this over and center it up. I mean, already it's, it's centered up and already, I'm, and I've got about that much more space to go down onto that processor. It's already hitting this. So even with these fully extended outwards, even on the other side, if I put the other one here, this is not going to work. Not going to work, Corsair, on this particular motherboard in this particular configuration. Obviously, if you turn this to where you maybe want to go the, the up-down, you know, way of doing it, it's, it's not even going to go on there. So, um, a couple things on this video. At least I can show how, uh, you know, how these coolers rest on the, um, the rest on the memory itself. Uh, and it's real simple. They just clip in behind the clip in behind the uh, the memory latches. That's all they do. Um, just like that. There, you can see. They just clip. They just clip right in behind the memory latches. And then the other side, it just goes. It just kind of just kind of rests up against the memory. It clamps the memory. And uh, they, they're, those feet. Uh, there's actually rubber protection on the ends of these on the ends of these brackets so you don't you know metal to metal or, or scuff or anything like that the memory modules but these aren't going to work for me now uh, you know I'm sitting there thinking well they include these for a reason and I, I get a little bit concerned when they do because I'm thinking should I be actively cooling these memory modules um, but there's nowhere where it states anywhere that, that you know, warranties void. This comes with a limited lifetime warranty, these memory modules. And I don't see anywhere where it says uh, where they recommend you use these uh, or, you know, warranty could be void or, or damage could occur or whatever. Um, but it is worth noting, you know, they include these for a reason. But on this particular board, these aren't going to work. So, yep, that's, that's going to be that. So I'm going to leave those off. Still got our heat sink to put on here. And our heat sink will fit just fine without those coolers. So, yep, all right, that's it. That's the 
Vengeance Airflow Corsair LPX 380 megahertz DDR4 128 gig kit. We'll move on here to the next item of this build. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.